Is this the colliery band rehearsal? No, love. Band's on Tuesdays. Tonight's origami class. a story that just touched the humanity in, in everyone. The fact that a lot of these mines, even after closure, are still represented by the colliery bands. They play loud and proud on behalf of all those communities. Mark was, was terribly keen that we not only integrated with the band, but we integrated with the community in Grindthorpe to let them know that this was an honest portrayal of their story and all the grief that they'd suffered and the heartache and the, the, the true sort of British underdog spirit that prevailed. The band are incredible. They can rival any orchestra in the world for their professionalism, their delicacy of playing, also the power. Mark puts a beautiful line that Sue Johnson says. When you hear that sound, when you're near that sound, it doesn't enough grab you. Ah, it does that. The brass ensemble is a uniquely British sound and something to be celebrated makes all the hairs stand up on the back of your neck. I learned to play the tenor horn at school and Ewan could play the French horn. Unfortunately, the, the fingering that I'd learned for the tenor horn was useless to me on the slide trombone. Uh, Ewan was good. Tara did the most work. She was quite stunning. More than anything that I've ever done, and I probably speak for a lot of the cast as well, that this film has meant more than any other piece of work we've ever done because it's meant more to people. You, you get stopped saying it meant a lot to families and people will tell you the story why people have stopped and, and said there's particular lines that have resonated with them for over 20 years. It, it's an astonishing feeling and one that just never ceases to make you proud.